Ndi Igbo should forget about president from Igbo extraction. We can't be president in Nigeria. It's crystal clear. Let's join hands and support the Senate president, Ahmed Lawar, for the next president of Nigeria, Senator Oji Kalo. Tax Igbos. Huh. <laughs> oh my God. One does a say shall never cease to end. If you say you never see, <laughs> not when Musa will see for gate, so honestly. People can do anything because of greed. These are the same people who are shouting, we want Igbo presidency, we do this and this and that. You know, I was telling people that time, I said, you see all these people when they do this thing, and, hmm, at the end of the day, now they go still disappoint themselves. So, he has eventually lost hope that Igbos cannot rule. These people are the problem of themselves. They just they find anywhere when go benefit them. You understand? You see the reason why Southeasterners believe so much in Mazin and the Kano? Because they feel that whatever he says, he stands on it. He does not betray them. Whatever he says, he stands on it. You know they talk left, you know they talk to mouth. It's not in his character. So that is the reason why he have this so much love from the Southeasterners. But this is what their leaders refuse to understand, that Igbos, the Southeasterners, and uh, trust Namdekano so much, more than them. That is the reason why if I pop give instruction, then the governors give instruction. You will see them, they will not go listen for all those, those they, they will not listen to those instructions given by the incumbent governor or whatever. They want to obey the instruction given by the IPOP leaders. It's just, it's just a very simple mathematics because they see these people as betrayers. That is how they see them. They see them not caring for them. They see them not showing concern, you know, about them. So they want to be with that person who is actually fighting for them. So all these ones, people, they talk, say, uh, this and this and that and all that. IPOP member, this, they don't brainwash them. And that is just the simple truth, though. See, that is just the simple truth. It's very, very clear. This is the reason why they do not want to listen to their leaders. Because they feel that they, they cannot even stand for them. They are just after their pockets. Now, all the noise when they don't they make left, right, and center. It's, it's very clear that the Southeast, whatever, might not even come to them. It's very clear. The only party, the Igbos, you know, are actually wanted to vote for. They denied uh, Peter Obi a primary uh, 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 presidential ticket. Why I said that, Peter will be uh, foresaw it, then he have to, you know, resign from the party because he understand that it's, they are not going to give it to him. They are not ready. The Northerners are not ready. Northerners, they want to clinch this power. But why can't they fight? You see, the, the, it's because of this struggle, this, this fight, Mazenam, the Kano continue to fight. That is why his people are loving him so much, even with what has happened to him. He's lost, his freedom is gone, his parents, everything, you know, he, he, he's not a free man because of this struggle. He does not even care. He's still pushing to read. Now, these people, every little thing, they don't lose hope. Now, you are not asking your people to vote for a Northeasterner. According to him, he said, Northeasterners, too, they have, uh, they, are, they have been denied presidency like just the Southeasterners. So since they cannot get it, let them support Ahmed, you know, the, the Senate president. But waiting will come for all the all the candidates now, Ahmed. This one when we say the government, they, they want money. You're not gonna talk anything, the next thing, you don't sign. 
you don't help this government borrow huge of money that we don't even know how our next generation is going to get out from it. This is the same person you want. You want him to become president. The same uh, Senator Oji Kalu said that he doesn't mind he will become a sweeper in the Aso Villa if eventually tomorrow uh, Lawa becomes the president of Nigeria. So you see, they are fighting for their special interest, not for the masses. They are fighting for their own personal pulse, not for the masses. That is why we keep on suffering because we have been electing bad leaders who, do, who care less about the citizens. They don't care. They don't care about us. They prefer going to uh, Dubai, going to UK, US, when they have honorary headache, that they support, they can even treat in Nigeria. We have qualified doctors, but where is the hospital? Nigerians travel abroad, they, 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 they employ them in those hospitals. Nigerians are one of the best doctors in UK, in US, but here they are not recognized in Nigeria. We don't even have the facilities here. Then you will travel from here to, to US to go and treat yourself. Funny enough, you are going to be treated with the same Nigerian doctor who you have refused to encourage, who you have refused to do everything possible, put things in place to make life meaningful for these people to work. But you will travel from here to US and uh, they, the, the same, these Nigerian doctors we say attempt to you. This is a very big shame and disgrace to our politicians who care less about their citizens that after they are just after their pockets. God is going to judge them one after the other. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you have not. Thank you very much for stopping by. May God bless you all. Bye for now.